What is up everyone, Osman Fong here. Today we're going to be looking at this Ryobi 1800 watts with 1094 watt hour battery inverter power station. With this battery size, it can handle a regular fridge up to 18 hours. With its pass-through charging capability, it can act as an uninterrupted power supply. It has this unique Bluetooth app control from the Ryobi app with about 5 hours of recharge time. It only weighs about 28 pounds. The built-in LED light has 4 settings with its own display showing you how much time is left and parallel ports for expansion on the battery. I don't normally buy something that expensive, but when I see the price drop to only $600, I cannot stop myself but just to give it a go. So without further ado, let's do the unboxing. You open it up, you get a cover like this. This is the battery itself, you know, with its own handle. We can put this over. When the cover is on, it is kind of like this. There will be fan that is coming on the back, storage pocket, and then the front, zippers, and then use these ports over here. The next and the only items you get from this box is the power supply. This power supply provides about 275 watts to the battery for charging. The charging port is right here. And when you plug it in, it's going to turn on. So as you can see right here on the screen, that it's charging 21 minutes until it is fully charged. According to the manual, if it is fully empty out from 0%, it can charge to 90% just within 3 hours. When you first turn it on, you will press and hold, um, then it will turn on. This backlight will turn on, and uh, if you don't want it, uh, you can turn it off like this. This is the LED light. Red lights and then it blinks to warn other people. This can provide 3 amp, 5 volt DC, 12 volt DC, and 20 volt DC through the USB C. We have a regular USB A type, 2.1 amp, 5 volt DC, Bluetooth pairing mode to the phone. So the app we'll be using is just a regular Ryobi app. To pair it, it's pretty easy. You press and hold, and then you want to go to the bottom, click on connected. You just click on the add scan the QR code that is on the side right here. I have it connected to my phone. It tells you all the information. So low level is like how much stuff is being plugged in. The wattage that you can handle is 1800 watts, right? If you have like 900 watts, this low level is going to show you 50%. So here is, I have like three different cables right here. A USB-A cable, plug it in. My phone is charging. I'm using about like 1%, 5 volt times 2M, 10 watts, less than 1%. The first number here is hours and minutes. So for USB-C cable, I'm gonna plug it in. So now my phone is charging. It is about like 15 watts. It actually calculated how long the battery can last if we are you continuously to charge one phone. So now we're gonna use the high voltage and use this wall plug, turn it on. So when you turn it on, the fan starting to spin. It will be using more power than just regular USB. Without plugging in anything, that's like 36 hours. And now I have a charging block plugged in. So now that my phone is charging at about 10 watts, the number dropped. Just having the AC on, it is already using some uh, power, right? So let's assume it still have 1000 watt hour in here, uh, divided by 40. So it is using 25 watts without the block plug. Keep it on standby, it's 25 watts. So we're gonna try to get this low level to come up. So I'm going to plug in this heater. Uh, right now it is 73%. So that is about 1100 watts that the heater is consuming. The time got really low. There is only 47 minutes left. We gotta turn it back off. So now that the low level is back to zero, the standby hours is back. So I've always wanted to know how much wattage in total our room is actually using during the day. So this is our room. This is a Wi-Fi light switch, one light. We have a camera, mini fridge. We still want to watch TV, the PlayStation 4. So this bathroom, we have four lights. Uh, this light, also this light to be turned on. And also the power goes inside my studio. I want these lights to be on, these two lights to be on. I have three monitors and I have my work computer here. Also my printer is going to stay on and also uh, two of my UPS. So with that in mind, we're gonna plug in our battery. So now to let the power station to calculate how much power it is actually gonna be used for my room, I'm gonna have to isolate my room. 
by turning off the breaker for my room. So now we are going inside of the room and see uh, nothing is on. We are going to plug in the cable that goes from the wall to the unit. So let's turn it on. We're going to turn on the AC power. All right. So now we can actually see the whole room is getting power from power station. So we have our monitors. So all three monitors are on. Laptop is being charged. We have another laptop being charged. Uh, two UPS is getting power. Right, now we can actually turn on this light. So it's getting the power from there. These are all on. So all of these are back on. Uh, we have the PlayStation, we can turn on the PlayStation as well. So... Okay, so the PlayStation is on. The camera is on. And then the fridge is on. Now we have turned on everything. We can see the, uh, the low level uh, is about like 20%. Uh, we have about 2 hours and 15 minutes. They can keep this room having power. The whole battery can produce about 1800 watts and it is using 20%, like 360 watts. That is a pretty good insight. We have about a little bit less than 3 hours. So just real quick uh, what it really looks like when I turn this off. Right now I have this uh, direct cable going straight to the wall. Since I have isolated this room by turning off the breaker, I can power the room or this circuit. Let's see what happens when I turn this off. I press and hold. And if I turn it back on. Another way instead of turning this off is to unplug this way. Oh. Yeah, my UPS is it's like, please give me power. Okay, I'll give you power. Right. The next item we're gonna test is this refrigerator right here. Unplug the fridge. So now it is off. I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna turn the AC on. For some reason it is not showing the low level. I guess the low is kind of low at the moment. Yeah, it's power. You know, it's cold. It's power. Uh, the water dispenser. Oh. So it just went to seven hour early in. Now we're gonna use the motor. Went down to like 17 hours. Uh, open this fridge. We went to 12 hours. We uh, opened up the other fridge. You know, there's some light in there, so. And now it went down to 7. And now it uh, went back to 36 hours remaining. So, that is pretty good. So at the very last, I really want to test out is this parallel kit. So here I have two power stations. We can use this cable over here. So what this cable has is, okay, it has two prongs on each side. So it's going to go to this parallel and then it links to this parallel right here. You get double the power, meaning each of this is 1800 watts and you can get to double it. So 360 watts on this port right here. Or you can just plug this in and continue to use one of these ports here and to get the combined battery capacity. $60 is actually quite expensive. So instead of $60, just use a suicide cable to jump from one port here to another port here and then to use both battery at the same time i have my heater i'm going to plug in my suicide cable to jump from one power station to another power station so i've tested it so i know that it works and normally you would want to plug into you know one power station to get power from it right so but instead of that we are going to power from this power station and the heater just turned on and we can actually turn this on. Now we can see the power that's being drained is only from this power station here. If we turn on this one as well, we're gonna be using both 
of this battery together. So while this just turned on, you know, with four batteries on, it actually reads how many wattage has been taken out from this generator to keep this heater on. And also we can see the hours remaining has gone up on this side and then the low uh, has cut in half. 50% come from this power station and the other 50% come from this power station. If we turn this off, the heater is still going to work. And if we turn this off, the heater just turned off. While using a suicide cable, you can actually use these two power stations and have them share the battery for double the time. So another cable you can buy is this cable. This is the cable that has the same parallel features. It has a 240 volt adapter. If you have a plug for your house and you don't have a generator, you can actually use two of these power stations and the parallel cable for your house. So this just can plug into here. You're plugging your parallel. It doesn't matter which way. Okay. Okay, so this right here is the ground and this one is a share note and this one has its individual notes. So when we're gonna test it here, we're gonna get 120 volt. So get 120 volt here, 120 volt here, and then across. And right here, we are getting the 220 volt. So you can definitely plug this in to your generator plug for your house to get power. So now that we have our generator power plug, that we're going to plug in, plug in this cable into, that is hooked up to this two power generator. So 30 amp go to there, which goes right next to this 30 amp dryer. Everything is going to be do on one take. All right. If there's power, that should light up green on this LED. So let's go ahead and turn this on. All right, as you can see from afar, uh, we have these two on. And uh, we're going to turn on the AC. All right. We got a dryer. Let's turn it on. So now that the dryer is on, we can see uh, what is happening here. So, you know, the dryer is definitely on, and both of these are sharing power. So we have 12% here, 180 here. So I'm going to turn this off. That went to zero, that went to zero. So there we go, we have 220 volt from this box using this wire. Okay, the next item we're gonna test here is the UPS capability. Plug in the power, okay. Plug in our USB-C cable. Then we're gonna charge our phone, all right. So now it's charging. And we are also gonna be using the 120. All right, so now that it's plugged in, my phone is charging, we are going to simulate a power outage. We just unplug the charger. See? The computer is still charging and the phone is still charging. And I have unplug. So this is acting just like a UPS. So this has been the Ryobi 1800W power station. If you like this video so far, make sure to hit the like button for the almighty YouTube algorithm. I'm going to leave the link down below for this product for you to check out. Subscribe if you want to see my face again, and I'll see you in the next episode.